A local COVID-19 vaccination clinic is in its first week of allowing walk-in appointments. 13 News reporter Natalie Wattis covered the story in South Point, Ohio. She joins us now from the Huntington Bureau with how they can now serve people this way. Natalie. Yes, Rob Merrily, a spokesperson from the Lawrence County Health Department, tells me they finally received enough vaccine doses to begin allowing people to just walk in and get the shot. But just because the vaccinations are more readily available doesn't mean everybody wants the shot. The old South Point High School has been converted into a COVID-19 vaccination clinic, and people couldn't wait to get their chance at immunity today. We just felt like as the governor opened up additional ages, that this would be a good time to open the clinic up and try to reach more people. This is their third clinic in this location this week, and they say they've given out more than 13,000 doses since January. With a walk-in clinic, it's hard to tell how many we might expect. We're hoping for at least 700. We brought enough vaccine to do, I think, about 720 people. Most of the people we spoke with here say they're excited to get the vaccine, but there are some that are hesitant. I don't know what it's going to do to me, but it's better than catching COVID, whatever it does. Or they know people who are. I would probably say 30% of the people I know would are not, you know, but many of them are young. The cost of not getting it is not as high for them as it is for me. And they're not alone. According to a study done by the Kaiser Family Foundation of more than 1,500 adults across the U.S. More than a quarter say they probably or definitely would not get the COVID-19 vaccine. The study also says hesitancy towards the vaccine is highest among Republicans, those ages 30 to 49, and rural residents. Locals have some theories as to why this area may follow that trend. A lot of them are afraid that there might be some kind of bad effects down the road. We've never had to do this before, ever, so nobody really knows what's going to happen. That's this scary for people, that's all. But to that, health officials offer words of encouragement. It is still new, you know, and and we don't know everything about it, but it seems to be very, very safe. This health department will be holding clinics next week, and we've got the details at our website, wowktv.com. In the studio in Huntington, Natalie Wattis, 13 News, working for you. Natalie, thanks.